Hey, bro. Hit my intro. What's happening, my visionaries? It's your man, J. Rock. I'm back in effect. I'm live and direct, and I'm coming at your neck with that ain't nothing. Video, 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 baby. Ah. The video, man, as always, just like, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, then just do it if you want to do it, because Jesus said this is the right thing to do. What's happening, my visionaries? It's your man, Dave Ron, back up in this thing. We ain't another video, man. About to check out STP Stone Temple Pilots Interstate Love Song. Now, I'm going to express that I have heard Stone Temple Pilots. The, the, the fuck was I trying to say? <laughs> I have heard Stone Temple Pilots before, but uh, the only song I've heard from them is Plush, which is my favorite Stone Temple Pilots song. It probably will still be my favorite no matter how many songs I listen to them. Um, but I've never heard this song, Interstate Love Song, so I'm interested to see how it sounds. I've always, and here's the thing, it, it may, it, it's probably going to vary, but I've always heard a lot of people, especially people who are fans of Pearl Jam, say that STP was a Pearl Jam knockoff band, a great value Pearl Jam. I don't know anything about that. I'm not even going to try to substantiate those claims because there's, there's nothing to substantiate. I mean, they're just subjective. If you think that STP sounds like a knockoff or a fake Pearl Jam, I, I, I guess. I don't, I've not heard enough songs to make that comparison. But um, I, I hear that a lot for some reason. I guess I always thought Scott kind of sounded like Eddie a little bit. Not to the point where it's like, okay, bro, just come on. I thought he sounded like him a little bit. Um, by the way, rest in peace, Scott. And uh, rest in peace, uh, Chris from Lincoln Park, who I didn't know was a part of this band. I'm about to check out some songs that he had with them, if he had any. I'm pretty sure he did because he was in the band. But rest in peace to both of those gentlemen. Uh, anyway, without further ado, put on my headphones of truth. Bam. And we're going to do what it do. Stone Temple Pilots, don't ask me to do the video, it's not happening, I've been getting blocked and shit, they, YouTube is just not, YouTube just don't rock with your boy, okay, but that's cool, we still here, being productive, being industrious, work at the, strong, yeah, feel me, yeah, smell me, you heard, what, without any further ado, let's do it. You know how much I love the rim shots. I love the space, man. Also, it sounds like a lap steel, but um, it's just a guitar. Rock, that's scary. I get riff too. Okay, now I can hear it a little bit more, <laughs> especially with specifically with the cadence. Like Eddie does this thing with his cadence. I'm not gonna make this. I'm not gonna spend this video talking about the comparison, but I just now heard it. It's I can I can see why people would say. I still don't think it's a negative thing. I like it. Uh, I think it just really shows how impactful. Uh, you know. Pro Jam, I don't know if this came, I don't know if STP came before Pro or after Pro, whatever, man. I'm just saying, uh, I can hear it because especially with the cadence, like Eddie has this cadence in a lot of his songs where he starts out with the first bar, the first line on the song. He starts out with an elongated phrase, feeling, and then after that preceding lines within that, uh, within that line, then it has a more faster cadence. So feeling, do 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 do. 
and every with every start of every line it, it, so i can see it's, it's similar similarities but i don't like i said y'all have to let me know all right but great great opening to this track man i love the love the instrumentation so far love the rim shot at the beginning love the snare the snare sound is very very crisp the wrist the riffs are very crisp man they're very very well well uh structured great composition so far hey you back into it the bass Love is narrow, man. I love the groove and the rhythm section is very smooth. Great song, man. Great song. Absolutely enjoyed that, man. Every second of it. Um, came in there, did what it had to do, got out of there. Didn't didn't overstay his welcome. Was very impactful in the time and the duration that it spent. Man, so uh, this was a hit song. I definitely could see it. I definitely see it being a hit song. It's it's very very rhythmic, very catchy. Very melodic, uh, you know, it's 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 a great song, man. And just barring any of the talks that I was having, you know, the previous conversations is that that's something that happens quite a, quite often in music. Similarities with it, I mean, uh, on the hip hop side of the spectrum, let's look at Ghostface Killer and Action Bronson, right? So if you listen to Ghostface Killer and you listen to Action Bronson, you can hear similarities in their style of flow. And I'm pretty sure nine times out of ten, Action Bronson was influenced by Ghostface Killer, and you can't help who you sound like. You sometimes, like when I rap, people say, you know, I'm not saying I'm anywhere near on the level of Kendrick Lamar, but when I rap, people can obviously tell that I've been influenced by Kendrick Lamar because that's the what I usually get compared to. Um, I take it as a compliment, man. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But my point being is that it just ha that happens a lot. Or it happens, you know, sometimes, and it's okay. I don't think people should be calling this band a knockoff uh, uh, Pearl Jam. I think maybe they have their similarities, but um, I, I really feel this band in its own. Now, here's the thing. Now, if you play one of these songs in the Pearl I might be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, but I just want to iterate, man. Stone Temple Pilots is Stone Temple Pilots. Pearl Jam is Pearl Jam. I respect them both. I like both. I like songs from both of them. They're great musicians, um, and yeah, shout out to my man Robert DeLeo on the bass, man. He was killing the bass. Shout out to my man Scott for the smooth, everything everything about this this song was smooth. But he said, waiting on a Sunday afternoon for what I've read between the lines, your lies. Feeling like a hand in rusted shame, so do you laugh or does it cry? Reply? Ooh. Man. 
He said, waiting on the sun. So, he, so he's setting up the scene. He's waiting on the Sunday afternoon. He said, for what I've read between the lines of lies. So he said, so this person is is is, is saying that they, they've read between the lines of the words. You know, somebody's, you know, you have to, when you're dealing with somebody who's a pathological liar, you kind of, you always have to read between the lines of what they're saying, especially if there's someone who's, uh, are prone to use tactics of gaslighting or manipulation to get what they want. You have to read between the lines of the things that they say. There may be, you know, things that are surreptitious, things that are beneath the surface of what they're saying. I'm not saying you should sit here and try to be, you know, detective and deduce what the, but, 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 but you know somebody full of shit that they going that what they say nine times out of ten is going to be full of shit. You smell me? All right. But he said, feeling like a hand in rusted shame. So do you laugh or does it cry? Reply. Feeling like a hand in rusted shame. So he's kind of like feeling... They feeling dilapidated, maybe feeling just destitute. So he's saying, do you laugh or does it cry? Which one do I choose? Reply. So he's saying, what, which one do I choose? Um, leaving on the southern train only yesterday, you lied. Promises of what see, what I seem to be. Only watch the time go by. All of these things you said to me. So leaving on the train, leaving on the southern train. So uh, could be could be Scott or it could be somebody in the band. Or some of their referring to it could be second person perspective, but leaving on the train, leaving on the southern train. Only yesterday you lied. So we say left on the train. Yesterday you just lied. You leaving on the train. Yesterday you just lied. Promises of what I seem to be. Only watch the time go by. So he's saying maybe he's saying promises of what of what he promised to be, and only watch the time go by. All these things you said to me. Breathing is, this is one of my favorite lines, breathing is the hardest thing to do with all I've said and all that's dead for you. You lied goodbye. Man, that's that's a that's a cutting line, man. That stings. It says, breathing is the hardest thing to do. And it is. With all that I've said and that's dead for, for you, you lied goodbye. So he's saying, so he's like, everything that... Everything that you that that you that you stated to be and everything that you you know promised to be and all these empty promises, he's like that's dead. You lied, so goodbye. Then goes back to leaving on the southern train. You lied yesterday. And you only you only yesterday you lied. Promises what I seem to be. Only watch the time go by. All these things I said to you. All right, let's see what Genius says. Okay, so the lyrics are about Scott Whelan's, is he Whelan or Wyland's, Scott's relationship with his wife, uh, Je Janina. I'm not even trying to pronounce that last name. Yes, I am. Casta Castaeda. Okay. <laughs> Before recording SDP's second album, Purple in Atlanta, Whelan promised his wife that he would stay off drugs at the time he had a heroin addiction. Ah, oh, okay. He didn't keep that promise and then phone calls informed Janina that everything was fine. The song was written in Janina's point of view and how she saw through Scott's lies. Okay. So I didn't know he was a drug addict. It's just everybody from that era is just like, God. That's got to be tough, man. Like, everybody from the era is like dead. Almost everybody. I think Eddie is and a couple people, but that's, whew. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, that's, that's tough. That's completely... Yeah, not necessarily uh, completely, completely wrong from my interpretation. It's an interpretation. I I didn't know that that it was about, but that's a it definitely puts the song into perspective, though. But as always, man, it is what it is till it ain't. And as always. Visionaries, I salute to you. Remember, always stay blessed, never stress. My arms always do your very best. Live, love, love, life. Because why? Life is beautiful, that's why I'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side. Whew. Deuces! Ah. Living off borrowed time, the clock tick faster. That'll be the hour they knock the slick blaster. Dick dastardly and muttly with sick laughter. A gunfight and they come to cut the mix master. I C E cold, nice to be old. Why two G S D twice to threefold? He sold scrolls, low and behold. Know who's the illest ever? Like the greatest story told. Keep your glory gold and glitter. For half half of his niggas to take him out the picture. The other half is rich and it don't mean shit to. Villain a mixture between both with a twist of liquor. Chase it with more beer, taste it like truth for dear. When he at the mic, it's like the place get like, oh yeah. It's like they know what's about to happen. Just keep your eye out like I, I capping. Is he still a fly guy clapping if nobody ain't hear it? And can they testify from in the spirit? 
and live in the true gods. Giving y'all nothing but the lick like two broads. Got more lyrics in the church, got ooh lords. And they hold the mic at your attention like two swords. Or you the one with two blades on it. Hey you, don't touch the mic like it's AIDS on it. Yeah, it's like the end to the means. Fuck type of message that sends to the fiends. That's why he bring his own needles. And get more cheese than Doritos, Cheetos or Fritos. Slip like for